Hey there everybody, it's Peter from Indigo River Tiny Homes. I have my lovely wife Christina running the camera today. Hey y'all. And we're here to show you our latest and greatest creation. This is a 10 foot wide by 38 foot long Pioneer model, which means that it has a downstairs bedroom. This one is actually 14 feet high, it has a modern exterior with all black metal windows and or all the windows aren't metal, the windows are Anderson Fibrex, but the siding is metal. And then with the cedar accent in the middle there. This one has a one foot overhang on the entry door side and on the and on the ends of the trailer. And a rain gutter on the back. For, for rain, rain catchment. catchment. When it gets <laughs> put <laughs> in place. Yeah. And we've got the nice uh, lights underneath the eave. So it lights up really nice at, at nighttime. And it's 14 feet tall because it's going to stay put once it gets delivered. Right. Plus, the, it also, the customer also wanted a deck over trailer, meaning that there's no fender inside to deal with. So we, uh, that makes it a little bit tall, makes the trailer a little bit taller as well. Oh, we didn't say anything about these giant doors. <laughs> yes, this is an eight foot wide by eight foot tall set of doors that includes the transom above. It's a sliding patio door. It's Anderson door, which is a very good quality door. And the windows and doors are black inside and out, uh, which is a really nice, popular, modern option these days. Upgrade. Upgrade. It is an upgrade. <laughs> uh, right now we're standing in the living area. Uh, one, one neat feature about this house is that it has the Lunos energy recovery ventilation system. So it has two units. It has a unit here and a unit in the bedroom. Um, this controls the fan See, speed. I'll just show it real quick. There it is. Yep. And so what the what it does is it draws air in for 50 seconds and then reverses for 50 seconds. And and each fan does whatever one fan's doing, the other fan's doing the opposite. And then it has uh, coils inside that capture the heat and transfer it to the air that's either blowing in or blowing out. And so it helps as you're so you're not drawing the same temperature air that's outside the air that you're drawing in is going to be closer to the air inside your house that's why they call it energy recovery ventilation and this house is going to upstate new york so right heat matters heat matters <laughs> and keeping heat inside matters keep, I keeping say. heat inside yeah. in texas it matters to keep it outside you know do the kitchen first yeah this is this is going to a blueberry farm up in uh north upstate new york and this is, this is a dry cabin. So this is just gonna be a weekend place. They don't plan to live in it full time. They just need some place to stay when they're up there on the weekends. Um, this item is a custom built rolling island, which we actually built for another customer, but we put it in here just to kind of show you some of the things that we can do. All this stuff is uh, in here, except that stove, <laughs> is huh. our stuff. So she's, gonna, she's got furniture that she'll be putting. So we just, you know. Try to fill it up with some furniture so that it wouldn't look too empty. One thing I forgot to mention while I was in the living room was the huge skylight over the living room. The four foot by four foot skylight. Well, and huge windows too, so. Yeah, lots of windows for lots of light. Yeah, she wants the outside to come in. This is gonna be in a beautiful piece of property. Oh yeah, she sent us pictures. When, oh, can't wait to see the house there on site. Mm -hmm. uh, this, we did the Cubic Mini uh, Grizzly stove. And it's a tiny little stove, but it puts out plenty of heat for a space this size. And a lot of people say they even have to open the windows sometimes if it's not, you know, because it puts off so much heat. It's a very super efficient stove, has ceramic blocks inside to absorb the heat so it continues to radiate heat when, even when the fire dies down. And then in the kitchen here, we have our, you know, tip, our standard custom cabinets with the soft clothes drawers and the toe kick drawers at the, at the bottom. I will show these handles, these are pretty. Yes, these, these are really neat handles that were actually given to us by a different customer, but uh, we thought she they weren't really well. She, yeah, she decided not to use them. <laughs> I like that blue lamp too, over the, the pendant light. Yeah, so because it's a blueberry farm, she wanted to have touches of blue. I think he showed the fan a minute ago, right? I don't know, I should, yeah. And it has blue blades not sure well yeah now you can see that it's blue yeah all right so i'll show the little oh you're not done with the kitchen yeah and just a two burner electric cooktop for her to cook while she's 
uh, staying there, our standard refrigerator with some storage up above, a nice uh, breakfast nook area or dining area with the picture window so she can see the views while she's eating. And then like I said, this is a dry cabin, so we have an incinerator toilet in there, which is really great for off-grid um, if you don't have septic available. There's some wind, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Clue that down. The, uh, but the incinerator toilet has the liner that you put in there, and then when you're done doing your business... So like here are the liners. Oh. And then you put it inside, so when you, you want, it keeps it the up. bowl clean. Yeah, so you, it just drops in there. It's kind of like, looks kind of like a big uh, coffee, coffee filter, yeah. <laughs> actually. And then and then you press the the pedal there, and it drops down inside. Uh, Including the doily into, <laughs> that you put in there. Yeah, it drops down inside the the combustion chamber, and then you press this button, and it and it uh, basically burns everything up. Um, after to ash. You, it to ash, yeah. And so then it has a little tray at the bottom that you pull out and dump every once in a while. Uh, so it's a lot easier to maintain than uh, your composting toilets. Yeah, just less maintenance. Right, and it's Different also kind of maintenance. Right, and it's also legal in places where composting toilets are not. Um, yes, most people yeah. don't know that composting toilets aren't really Some legal in most are, places. Oh wow. Yeah. So she'll put her own little vanity here with, I guess, a wash basin. I like that really tall window. Yeah. So many big windows. <laughs> so they'll be out there in the country, though, and won't have to worry about people seeing in. Yeah, and we have the exposed wood beams that are really nice. And she did shiplap on the ceiling. And we can go into the bedroom. It's designed with a queen-size bed. In mind she has her own bed and wardrobe that she's bringing so again we just threw some furniture in here so she'll be able to the house she's put living. a little bureau or something in here yeah and the house she's living in now is a really cool victorian i think she has some old antique furniture that she's going to put in here it's modern design but you know also have the you know the rustic um, farmhouse mm -hmm. look as well so rustic modern tons of space you can walk, you know, rock around the yeah, side sure. of the bed. We yeah, can... plenty of room on all three sides of the bed to walk around. Yeah. And a lot of times when we do a configuration like this, we'll do a wardrobe on each side of the bed with a bank of, of cabinets above the head of the bed. Um, you know, for so we can do things like that for tons of storage. In the and a little built-in bedside table kind of thing. Right. But yeah, she's, she's an artist and she has lots of pieces, I would imagine, that gonna fill this place up with so we'll get some photos once it's in place and has everything it's gonna have but as you can see it's just kind of a blank slate yeah so a blank slate blank slate for the the artist who's gonna live here yeah. so all right well we hope you like it leave us a comment down below let us know what you think pricing information is in the video description Thank you very much. And there'll be a link to click at the end of the video as well. Great. Be sure to click like and describe. <laughs> oh, what do they say? Smash that subscribe, subscribe. button. Subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> so we hope you like it. We love you. Thanks See you for next time. Thanks for watching, y'all. Bye.